Hey everybody, Brandon with Bearded CB82. So today on the starting off diesel series, we're going to be going over hand tools. Kind of your basic rundown of basic hand tools, but uh, not necessarily going to start into, say, wrenches and things of that nature as a whole. That's going to be a whole nother topic discussion. But we're definitely going to go do some side-by-side -side comparison with others with adjustable wrenches, pliers, screwdrivers, and a couple other little bitty items to maybe give you some better information on which way you might want or possibly need to go to. Now remember, this is about starting off. Yes, there's going to be some high-end stuff in here. That's going to be up to the person, the end user, the choice on how they want to deal with their own things. But also, there's going to be some things that I will say you might want to go higher end at and maybe even specifically tool truck save your hands. I mean, we work with these things. This is how we're going to make our money and you don't want a severe failure that could minorly or majorly injure your hands. So let's uh, get things turned around and see what we're talking about here. Okay, so first up, obviously, like I said, adjustable wrenches, aka, as we all like to call them, crescent wrenches. Uh, you can't go wrong, really, uh, bang for your buck wise. Q air compressor, there you go, everybody. I know the last video that I did, uh, Kind of lacks some air compressor, so you got it. Now, back to the topic at hand. All right, so Crescent Wrenches. Good brand, overall, forged in the USA. Uh, bang for buck, kind of hard to beat. Diamond, there again, another one, forged in the USA. Another really good brand, and they have offerings much bigger than this guy. Uh, let's see here, Diamond, that is... CB forged, you can see right there. Now, if they say WF, that's Western Forge, like Proto, uh, the old Craftsman USA, Proto USA, uh, a couple others. I don't know if SK is or is not. Uh, Knockers, if you're listening, go ahead and post uh, who makes SK if they do it themselves or if Western Forge does. But uh, another good brand there you go crescent does forge their own diamond like i said now snap on uh this one was one that i kind of got on a deal it's a very comfortable very nice grip does come in both standard and metric made in spain now the creator of this is baco b-a-h-c-o also, they do make the saws, if you're familiar, the Baco Laplander, and they also make the PWZs for Snap-on because they are a subsidiary of Snap-on. Uh, also, a brand that Baco makes is, well, not this particular item, but as far as uh, their crescent wrenches go, Channel Lock. Uh, probably a bad example there. There we go. Channel Lock has theirs made by Baco. Now, the one difference is uh, these exact design are specific to Snap-on. Uh, they had a deal going on when I bought this one time. Uh, been a little while ago. It's a good, very nice, very well-made crescent wrench. Uh, the Bacos are a little bit cheaper and then of course the channel lock ones are even cheaper yet channel lock ones uh not that i have seen do not feature a cushion handle baco does with a black cushion handle and uh yeah it's good it's comfortable it works uh the baco spot on the crescent there again the crescent as well as the baco also feature the standard and metric for uh, you know being a universal rather than just a straight up standard crescent wrench. And somebody's probably gonna call me out on that because they don't get the joke. Anywho, there's that. Either way you wanna go, at least go with uh, something somewhat reputable. There's a large gamut from here to here and in between, between brands, but crescent makes a lot for a lot of other people. Western Forge, like I was saying, Diamond, 
Baco, you've got a selection. So make your choice wisely. What works for you could be a budget thing or it could be a comfort thing. Here's your decision. All right, now on to our next little bit. Yes, little bit. Well, kind of your general assortment of pliers, different brands, different regions, different countries of origin. Uh, you've got the gamut right here. Overall, it's really going to depend on your budget, what you want to spend, what you're looking for, and where you plan on buying from. Uh, here on just your basic plier setup, here again, this is kind of like the farmers go to the Crescent brand. Uh, this is their L26. Some of the older, well, a lot of the older ones, or majority of the older version of this plier are made in the USA. Newer ones, uh, they are not stamped that I know of. Jill. Uh, so, can't remember. I don't know if these are USA, Chinese. Uh, Jill is a forge. Uh, or where exactly, but these are a decent set of pliers narrow profile, very aggressive teeth, and they'll take anything any farmer can throw at them, which means your average mechanic, you know, it'll be all right too. Your handles over time will wear out as they have on a couple sets of mine. That's why I got a few at home. Next up, of course, now a lot of other people are gonna say, well, you've got Nipex here, and there's going to be somebody that's going to say, well, that's Kunipex. Well, in German, it's Kunipex. But here in the United States, where we speak English, this is Nip X, like knife. You don't say Knife, you say knife. Welcome to America. And that's probably going to piss somebody off, but oh well. Okay, your 47 CFs, 47 ACFs, along that nature. These pliers are badass. These are as probably is going to be as good as it gets. They really need to be cleaned out. This set of pliers is, uh, I got these in 2011, so eight years old and still have not yet had to warranty them. Uh, as far as the regular plier goes, the ones by Snap-on are very top notch, but for starting off, you know, you can go to your local hardware store, True Value, what have you, spend $10 on a pretty decent set of Something in between here, you know, Channel Lock, for instance, has a very awesome reputation, especially for their Channel Locks, their new design, their older designs, and the regular pliers. You can get a full set. I think $75 will get you an entire accoutrement of needle nose, a set of uh, water pump style pliers, regular pliers, cutters, si or side cutters, dikes. Uh, whatever you want to call them, and uh, that's going to be a really good set. I'll put a link down below to some of this stuff because you can't go wrong at all with channel lock. Now, Snap-on, uh, this is a newer set, obviously, because it doesn't have near as much rust. Made in the USA versus Nipex versus Blue Point. Uh, these little Blue Points are okay. They will get the job done, but I think if you're going to spend the money that you're going to spend, for what a set of this will cost you a full set you might as well there again go with the channel locks um, this set right here is fifty dollars on the tool truck this set right here is fifty dollars on the tool truck um, amazon i think these are around 35 or 40 dollars for the nipex a much superior side cutter this side cutter though does have a little bit more of a aggressive uh, tip on it for getting into some places getting uh, certain screws and nails out of some of the tires on the semi trucks these do awesome work and if I'm a little bit more confined eh, sometimes I'll use both sometimes I'll just use one sometimes I'll just use these guys because they're smaller and they can get into tighter spots but they'll all work now for some needle nose variants. This is your made in, oh yes. The blue points are made in China for their pliers. Not everything in blue point is made in China. Uh, this little blue point set right here, uh, not too impressed with this little guy. There's no knurling on it and a set of eight of the minis. It's either six or eight, something like that. It's like 80 or a hundred dollars. 
overall they're okay they've got some decent little ones in there but this for example uh, gives you a reason to not buy it uh, superior from what i've found and looked at to nipex's version would be the snap-ons these are the 96 crs uh, there again i've had these guys for a very long time awesome knurling on the inside of these needle nose the snap-on needle nose is a recommend uh, <laughs> so original three came in a set the side cutters was the only one i've had to warranty out so far over eight years if that gives you any idea but the mini ones are just exactly that an exact miniature version of these guys very awesome um, another set that i have somewhere at home is there again crescent didn't bother to grab it so there's your rundown or uh, crescent this is channel lock not crescent those are crescents there's kind of your rundown. If you want to go with tool truck, I'm not going to fault you on it, especially for these two guys. But if you want to go to Menards or, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot and you want to get a set of channel locks, uh, the plier variety pack, I'll try to insert a picture here. Nobody on the face of this earth should fault you for going that route. Lifetime warranty, uh, pretty good. Here's kind of a basic rundown of pliers. On to the next. All right, yep, you guessed it. Now we're getting into screwdrivers. Just kind of, this is a little bitty go over from everything from uh, pretty darn cheap, and you can get the Jones Ways at your local Fast and All, uh, middle of the roads, and higher end as well. And uh, there again, also some uh, cheaper one, if you will, as well. All right, so we're going to start off towards the bottom here. Jones Way, uh, fairly decent little grip on these. Oh, and before I forget, yes, even these little guys. These little guys save the $7 for the set. For home, this is going to work out decent. Don't get me wrong. I've dropped one off the top of a crane at a steel plant before, went down, recovered it, and the only thing that happened was it chipped a little piece of the hard plastic off the back of the handle. It survived that and still worked. Now, Jones Way, a little bit of a better grip, softer grip, uh, what have you. Like I said, Fastenal, these are kind of their cheap brand made in either Taiwan or China, I forget. Uh, anybody knows, leave a comment down below. They're okay, starting off with, it'd be all right. Uh, next up, I think for between $20 and $30, you can get the full 16 screwdriver set, not including the bit driver with all the bits uh, from your Menards, Costco, Home Depot, whoever carries them. I don't know who carries these anymore. Um, but I can attest to these. They are a fair screwdriver. I think they are made in China. Um, it does not say on the screwdrivers. And there again, I've had these since 2009 or 2010, around there. They've been a decent set. Okay for in the shop, great for at home. Uh, they did fairly well at the steel plant as well. Good grip to them, good conformity. Harder plastic, but the softer kind of makes it a little bit more forgiving for grip. Um, overall angle does not have, such as this here, for getting your extra leverage. But it's a fair set for the somewhere between $20 and $30 you'd spend on the entire variety pack. It wouldn't serve you wrong. You'd at least get your money's worth out of them. Oh, get that one out of the way. Okay, so next up, and I'll have to put these in order, what I would call quality with what I have on hand on myself. Uh, next up, the blue points. These are made in Spain. I do believe Baco does make these for them. Um, I couldn't find anything exactly like it. Uh, found some things that were close though. They do have the little where you can get a T-handle in there and all of them to, for your extra leverage. Um, yeah, 
used them kind of as pry bars and chisels and whatnot. Uh, this set I don't use as much because of well, I brought my set of these from home. And then I have these in my tool bag and at home and I've got a whole bunch of other screwdrivers left and right at home where I don't need them there. But these little guys stay in my tool cart, uh, this cart, and they are quite decent. Huh, door shut. And yeah, uh, decent grip, kind of a pain in the butt to keep clean if you're a neat freak, but if you're not a neat freak, then who cares? But overall, decent hardness on the tip. If you break one, they do have to warranty out the full thing. So you don't just replace the tip, you replace the whole screwdriver. That's kind of blue point on a number of their items. Uh, not a bad set. I don't know what these guys run off the top of my head for the, uh, what is it, like a seven or eight piece set between uh, three or four Phillips and then four or five flat heads. Um, good set, can recommend came in the blue cart deal for those of you that remember that next up yes I will call these if you can find them well this is just an example I've got all the rest of my other ones at home uh, for those of you that follow uh, varying origins as well as you can see this one's made in the USA yes this is Klein yes this is their 11 and one but their regular screwdrivers are good screwdrivers Greenleaf, for some odd reason, has a harder, like, almost hard plastic um, covering on theirs, unlike the Klein's. Uh, Klein does fit comfortably in hand. And, uh, yeah, I've used these industrially. I can vouch for them. Anywhere between $40 to $50 a set. Uh, they're standard. Screwdrivers from what I've seen at Home Depot last time I went, which was a little while ago, a couple months, uh, does, did say made in the USA on them. I know that their 11 and ones, 10 and ones and stuff like that are starting to get made out of country over in Asia. You have that. But they will last you. They will be a good set. And then this uh, just kind of represents your tool truck brands. Um, your wet screwdrivers are what Matco, I believe, uses, which are a decent screwdriver. Somebody else makes them. Snap-on does make their own screwdrivers, and these do fit really good in hand. Um, Cornwell, I believe, does make their own screwdrivers as well. And uh, I know Dave over at If It's Not Broke, Fix It, which I'll uh, put a link up here to his channel. He's got a couple of them on his toolbox tours and uh, whatnot. He really likes his. Um, but that's one of the options. But a set of these guys is going to be pricey, almost prohibitively to somebody. Um, every once in a while, maybe once or twice a year, they'll have a full deal where you even get the little stubbies along with it, clear up to your larger sizes. And uh, But they are, so it'll be an eight-piece set eight or 10 piece set, they are cost prohibitive, but it's an option. And it's usually something that your tool truck guy is gonna have a tip for. I'll just pound the handle off and replace the tip. This was one that I found actually, and had him put a new tip on. So the handle was still in pretty good shape and just replace the tip. Other than that, cause I've got the green set that I use for myself, which is another option um, tool trucks will do is they do carry off oh, an ungodly amount of colors to match your toolbox or what have you. So if you're a color freak where everything's got to match on colors, you have that option.